Welcome to Popcorn Planet. We are live, and yes, we are talking about the conspiracy that still is going. Where's Kate? Is it an AI robot? Is it a body double? Is it an alien? Is it a lizard person with a cape mask? What is it? I, I think it's Catherine. <laughs> I really do think this is Catherine. Now, people are making shameful comments about how she looks or she's too skinny. I don't want to get any of that. She's been through surgery. Leave her alone. I'm only here to sort of stare at the face. Um, it's like people who are sort of trying to call out her weight and things got to understand she just went through massive surgery. So be kind. Uh, but yeah, this honestly looks like her. Now, here's where I'm, I'm weirded out. And chat, please help me out here. Since when does the royal family just walk around farmers markets without like way more security? Like even the security are holding bags. I assume that's a security guard. Is it not? There's some lady with that guy. Is that not a, there, that wasn't, I thought that was a security guard. So you're telling me post-surgery, these two are walking around the farmer's market without anybody protecting them? That's the Prince and Princess of Wales. They're just walking around with their bags when they totally have people to do the shopping for them, just like they totally have people to Photoshop their photos for them. I'm confused. Now, honestly, I think it's Catherine. Don't get me wrong, but where's security? People are saying they do it a lot, Andy. Okay, it seems odd. Maybe Prince Harry have conditioned me. We need security. We can't go anywhere without security. Well, it looks like Harry, uh, sorry, you're wrong because William and Catherine, who would be far bigger threats as the next line of succession, are walking around without a care in the world. Make that make sense. Make that make sense. Well, okay, the chat's telling me that is normal. That's what they do. Okay? They do it all the time. It's strange. You Look, I'm not doubting that. Thank you for that information. It still seems odd to me, given how much conspiracy is going right now, given everything that we're facing with all the crazy theories. It's weird to me there's not somebody ahead of them or behind them. I, I, I understand they walk around a lot, but usually security is a little closer when you're around so many people and you're literally about to be the king of England. It seems odd to me. Not that they're out and about. Great, go out and about, live your life, and prove Harry and Meghan wrong that you can walk around in public without demanding top-notch security. It's weird that there's not a security guard. Now, I thought this guy was, but he's holding his own groceries and he's got some girl talking to him. And I bet you he didn't realize that the Prince and Princess of Wales just walked by. And that is adding to the conspiracy. Is that why no one noticed? Because it's not them? So here it is again. Let's watch. She's really laugh. It's like she kind of laugh. Eh, no. Seems super well. Now, I don't know her walk and stuff. Some are saying that's not her walk. William's down a little bit more. It's harder to see him. Yeah, I, it's, it, it seems like her. Why wouldn't it be her? Again, why wouldn't it be her? Because they Photoshopped a photo. Now the whole world has gone nuts. That's why you don't share Photoshop photos. That's why I was so annoyed. That's why I reported on it because guys, you're seeing the results. You don't post a photo when everyone's like, where are they? If Steph went missing and everyone's like, where's Steph? Where's Steph? And then suddenly I came back with the photo of Steph and she published a Photoshop picture of Steph. People would start freaking out. It is what it is. Uh, but I, I look, I'm looking at this. I'm watching it over and over again. It's her. Now, what was interesting is this is the, everyone was like, oh, she was out and about, but then there was no photo evidence, and now there is. Now, what's interesting, let's break down some of the other stuff that uh, the wonderful Steph has helped confirm. The, they did confirm the metadata. This was from TMZ. They did confirm it. They got the location, the time. It all checked out. They were at that place, the Frogmore, Royal Estate Windsor Frogmore Gardens um, at the time and place. The metadata all checked out. So take that as you will. This isn't from a photo that was earlier. This is a photo that was taken on March 16th at 1243 p.m. at the Royal Estate Windsor Frogmore Gardens. So I've seen a lot of you say, but Andy, 
No, it was clearly an earlier video. The metadata proves otherwise. Now it's TMZ. I guess they could lie, but I don't know see why they would lie, but I think that this is proves it. Now, does it mean that the video that they took wasn't manipulated? It still could have been manipulated, but then it still would probably have different metadata. Although that would be the original. I, that's where things get wonky for me. Now, there's the footage. Great to see you, Kate. The sun saying, yeah, obviously, this is her looking great for the first time. It does look like her to me. I, I got to say, I think this is her. Uh, looking happy, relaxed on a shopping trip with William. Princess remains under medical guidance to keep off of work until next month. Dressed down in a hoodie and leggings, carrying her own shopping as she strolled through the car park at the farm shop. He does not look very happy. It seems like she's doing a photo op. I'm I'm here, see? And he's sort of begrudgingly like, ugh. All right, let's be careful. Let's see what's in front of us. Uh, took the video while shopping for steak. They were also seen in the bread aisle. Couple appeared relaxed and in good spirits on their outing. She beamed as she walked alongside William. Other shoppers seemed unfazed by the royal's appearance at the store. Kate laughed as she was chatting with him as they left. Yeah, I mean, look. There's there. I agree. Lay off enough. Uh, this should be enough is what a lot of these other things. This should put an end to the conspiracy theories, but it's not. It's not putting an end to the conspiracy theories. Palace sources are now using this, which is interesting because never explain, never complain. But sources are still out there trying to explain and complain. Uh, this should finally put an end to it. Should quell the conspiracy theories about her health, according to palace sources. Uh, so metadata comes in. Surprise Photoshop piles more pressure on the palace to update the nation on her recovery because aid silence is just fueling more conspiracy theories. That's now uh, the word. Um, oh, I do want—I did want to talk about this student, the Riley search for Riley Strain. I hope we, we may need to look into that. That's the, I just saw that. It's super depressing. But where did my original article just go? I just changed it. Here it is. Uh, it's piled more pressure on. The silence is fueling more conspiracy theories. Uh, and, and that's the problem. Here's Andy Cohen. That ain't Kate. Now, Andy Cohen, <laughs> he's no uh, news journalist. He's an entertainer. But again, here's all the theories. Not even close. Now, someone has created this weird AI version of a close-up. I'm sorry, that kind of Photoshop work doesn't work. That's not real. This isn't real. Now, there was that one Vogue shot I showed that I was like, yeah, but, it, you know, in, in hindsight, I, we debunked it, and it, it was clear. Well, yeah, she's got the same smile in both photos. It was easy to, easy to sort of overlay them, and that wasn't her. Now, this? What the hell is this? What is this weird? Hey, that, that's, this is nothing. Anybody who's been sharing this, you're crazy. There, this is not a close-up. You can't be like, engage, enhance the photos, enhance, enhance. It, it doesn't work that way. AI would create a person, not actually uncover bad pixels and create good pixels. So this is an AI interpretation of, you know, what the zoom is. This is not accurate. So a lot of people calling Andy Cohen out, rightfully so, because what the, why? It, it, honestly, I think Andy Cohen is just trying to fuel the conspiracy to get, you know, more hits and more attention. Uh, because a lot of people are sort of seeing that. And it's what everybody's talking about. And I, look, honestly, that's what we got. I, I talk about what everyone's talking about in the week in pop culture. And this is what we're talking about. But I want to debunk it because I'm not buying it. I see no evidence to declare otherwise. So as we watch this and keep staring at it, I'm going to zoom in even further as we got maximum zoom here. I don't understand why this didn't end it. It's very weird to me. Andy thinks that's a real photo. What? No, no I don't. That's that's not a real photo. I just I just said it was not a real photo. Th that is not a real photo. It's not. I just said it wasn't. You guys are nuts. I don't. This is this is her. Who else is it? You think it's body doubles? I just, I don't, I don't see enough to warrant it. It, to me, like I said, the weirdest part is like the fact that they're just walking around a supermarket without security. I still find that odd. 
Oh, you're talking to the other Andy. Thank you. I was like, <laughs> very good. I was like, I, I, yeah, it's clearly fake. Thank you, guys. Uh, two Andys. That's why I was confused. Don't tell me I'm consp peddling conspiracies. Uh, Andy Cohen is thinking it's right. Th sorry, my bad. Uh, but yeah, this is nuts. I, I don't know, man. I, I, don't, I don't. Look, I'm always one to hear people out. It's, it gets me in trouble sometimes because I don't just join what everybody else thinks. And sometimes it pisses people off. It happened with Johnny Depp. People thought he was guilty. The whole media, everyone's like, he's guilty, he's guilty, he's guilty. Everyone's like, Britney's okay, leave her alone. Leave her. No, she wasn't. She was in a conservatorship. Johnny Depp, same thing. He was in an abusive relationship. You got to hear things out. And sometimes it proves, more often than not, it proves true. It does. But you got to look things through. And that's why I wanted to make sure we took a moment to really, like, one, complain about all this. But also, like, am I missing something? And look. I, I honestly, 29% of the audience is saying that's not her. So I, I can't just call them all idiots because I know they're not all idiots. They have their own feeling and opinion on this. And I want to hear what's going on. I, I do want to open up the phone lines. And I especially would love to talk to somebody who wants to explain why this isn't real. So in a little bit, I will open the phone lines. If you're watching and you want to get involved, please call in. If you know somebody who, who wants to challenge me on this, please call in. Because what I think is actually happening here. What I think is actually happening here is somebody, and I'm going to leave you all to speculate who, somebody is a copy, you know, copy pasta for the last hour's Kate and William terms. And if you zoom into these, if you zoom into these, why do media channels want us to believe that this is Kate and William when we can see it's not Kate and William? Why do these big media channels want us to believe when it's not? Why do these big media literally copy pasta various photos images of this of this thing and sharing that image that i just showed you as if that's a real picture they are now copy po copy pastaing this all over now i've humored it okay but when i see something like this guys when i see something like this something's off and it's not just one look at this look at all this who would be incentivized to actually put this kind of crap out there, huh? Everyone's talking about the footage. Why do these media channels want us to believe that this is Kate Williams? Who might be wanting to stir the pot and keep the conspiracy going? I just Sussex know. <laughs> I couldn't do it. I was trying to do a better pun. Uh, I don't know who it is. Uh, I don't know. But it's very odd, isn't it? Isn't it very odd to see trying to get Kate? By the way, it's Kate. They're trying to get trending, not Catherine. Kate and William trending. And who would be constantly pasting this in these dummy accounts uh, to do this sort of platform manipulation? This is my biggest problem with Twitter. Twitter is not a good source of news Elon Musk claims all these big games, and I wish he was actually following through on it, but no, he doesn't care. He doesn't police it. If you don't pay, you don't get spam security. There's no guardrails in place to actually protect users. Users are actually harassed. You block users. They can still come in and just completely harass you. You can't even see their tweets now. The, 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 the whole platform of X is a dumpster fire of a mess. And I, the good in theory what he was trying to do, but he's a charlatan like many, and I can't support anymore I, i'm there because it's sort of a place we got to go get some of this intel but i that's why i don't pay for it and by stop pay for it, i get even more spam but look at this like why is this allowed why can't the platform copy and notice copy pasta is what they call this when multiple out, uh, tweets are s sharing the same thing over and over why is that not triggering some sort of spam bot or spam thing and again where could this be from now stop blaming megan for everything without proof andy why was was Harry out with Chris Jenner? We talked about this the other day. Why? Why, why Chris Jenner's boyfriend? Sorry, but wh why? To this idea that they're it's 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 a it's I, I didn't say I had proof that they're behind it. I'm just trying to figure out who else would be motivated. And I'm sorry, Megan Harry absolutely would be. They are. They've been smash talking their family like crazy. Um. Now I have no proof of that. But if I'm looking at if I'm going to 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 go put together a list of suspects, they're on top <laughs> now. Or sugars supporters of theirs. Megan Harry may not actually be doing it, but 
Harry and Meghan's supporters sure would be on the top of my list too. I don't think that's un unreasonable to say. And I've not said that that's, there's proof that they're behind it, but who then who is? Who who is motivated behind the scenes to try to create and stir havoc with with Kate and, uh, with Catherine and William? To me, the first person I go to is the is Meghan and Harry's or their supporters. And to me, that's all sort of the same plan because Meghan and Harry refuse to call out their supporters, their sugars. They let them go be uh, internet terrorists and then claim to be Woo, victims to all the bullying online. Uh, I, I don't know. Now, again, I have no proof. There's no proof. I'd love to get proof. I wish we could get more discovery on some of these things to actually figure out who's behind things. But uh, something is off here. Something's off here. Now we got a, a lot more show to go, but before I just I wanted to, I wanted to focus on one other thing that was interesting. Uh, Pierce Morgan a few days ago was was on the same thread I was on. I wonder if he got as much backlash from his fans for even humoring all this. It's just it, it it's it's odd to me. A lot of you guys need to, to check in. Uh, like, well, we have different opinions, <laughs> and I and I and I'm just frustrated because I like I'm an audience. I just respect you, and it was just frustrating because we finally disagreed on something on this topic. There was so much disrespect labeling me as disrespectful. And I've not once tried to say anything negative about any of the Royals, except for Meghan Harry. Um, they're not Royals though. Uh, and uh, Pierce was saying the same thing. And we're going to, I want to watch this with you because he brings up a lot of points. It's a few days old, but it's still very relevant. It, are they trying to cover something up? Cause I think it's connected to this. And what was also interesting about this, as you scroll down, he actually agreed with Harry and Meghan. He gave them a, a shout out. Uh, he said here, uh, sorry, I had it here. One second. I want to read this before we, uh, we, we talk further. Speaking later in his YouTube broadcast, Morgan revealed that he has heard from sources that Harry and Meghan's camp believe all hell would broke loot would have broken loose if the Duke and Duchess of Sussex had committed such a horrific picture blunder to which to that I say, yes, actually, if they had said that, it's a perfectly valid point. Here he is having to agree with Meghan and Harry's people, and I have to as well. If Meghan and Harry were in this situation and Meghan had disappeared for a period of time and then came back on Mother's Day with a photo that was heavily edited, we would have been all, people would have been like, yeah, you phony, we knew it, blah, 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 blah. But when Catherine comes back with an edited photo, oh, all is well, leave her alone. It's it's a weird hypocrisy. I'm going to call it out. It is a weird hypocrisy. And to the tribal fans that refuse to allow people to have the discussion to come to the truth, which is the fact that I believe this is Catherine. I've humored the theories. I've listened to them. At the end of the day, nothing is showing me anything that I'm like, you know what? Something's off here. No, this is her. I, I humored it, I've heard it, and now I can say I did to the dismay of my own audience. Uh, and I, I'm glad I did because now I can more confidently say, this is Catherine. What, what on earth is this otherwise? But we have to humor that, we have to say the other things, we have to look into things sometimes, and we can't get so mad when our tribe disagrees with us. Leave her alone, no. When she posted that image, when she then followed it up with a tweet, she went against the Royals' own motto. Never explain, never complain, never explain. And that's all they've been doing. It's very weird. It's all they've been doing is complaining and explaining through sources. Even Rose just came out. Uh, Harry, William's mistress just dropped a statement. I'm kind of shocked, to be honest, at how much is coming out. It does make me wonder if something else is going wrong. Julie, you're part of the problem, Andy, since you just dragged Megan without any proof. Show, uh, Please time code where I just dragged Megan without proof. Or when I said she was behind it. I said if I'm compiling a list of suspects, she and her fan base are number one on the list. That's not a, that's not false. And that's not me. And that's what a lot of people are doing. We have to be able to ask questions. We have to be able to look into things. It may not be Megan and Harry. As I've said, it could very well be her supporters or somebody else that has skin in the game. Uh, but we have to start asking questions. And by asking questions doesn't mean we're being negative or we're stating facts, or we're trying to prove, you know, definitively say something. We got to have these streams. We got to have these conversations and these town halls, as I like them, because we really get to come together and hear different opinions. But 
we actually have to listen to other opinions. And, and to be fair, I, I did listen to some of the criticism I was getting. And thanks to Steph, who sort of helped. And she obviously was was set in her way. This is I was set in my way. And But I, I saw a lot of stuff over the weekend about Catherine, personal stuff that was allegedly being revealed and other and ridiculous stuff that I knew wasn't true. And I, I, I was starting to really see why so many people would be offended and, and bothered by the media's continued – it was a harassment of – Catherine, when she clearly said, I've undergone surgery, I'll be back in Easter. It's not Easter. There's nothing they've lied about to this point. They said they'd be back to Easter. Okay, great. Well, it's still not Easter. They did come out with another statement that was saying, we're not going to do anything or condone or admit anything until after Easter, as we said the first time. So to me, that's what they said. Now, after Easter, we can go there. Um, But What's weird to me is now they finally did allow someone caught it on video. There was no evidence. Now suddenly there is sure looks like her to me and nope, they still will not accept it. Nope. Nope. That's not her. It's this weird thing that's being shared all around, all around. Oh, and by the way, that weird thing that's being shared is totally being manipulated in the social media trend by people copy and pasting it on numerous places at a certain time to get it trending. So I will say this. I do believe it's her. But I do agree with Pierce. I think something else is going on, whether it's a cover up of something else that maybe is none of our business or perhaps someone else trying to make this something that it's not. Something is happening. And I think it's important we continue to keep asking these questions to try and figure out what it is. Well, we just had an amazing show. We had a lot of callers come in. Some of them supported the conspiracy. Some of them did not. You're not going to miss all their thoughts if you missed it. Head on over to our Patreon. That is the best place you can support our channel. You'll get all the unlisted live full shows as well as other extras and so much more. Go support the Popcorn Patreon if you want to support the channel. You can also join here. You can also throw a super chat down, a super thanks. Uh, or you can just like the video. Hit that subscribe and make sure you stay tuned for more. Appreciate all your faces so much. Lewis is live next over on Nerd Report. Check them out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more here on Popcorn Planet. Yeah.